Hey everybody, I am making this video message to tell you to have a pure motive when you post on your social media account. The reason why I'm making this video message is because nowadays people have taken technology a little bit too far. And what I mean by that is that we have been given the ability to create a platform for ourselves. Now, let me just say this before I get to the topic. When you post something in particular on social media, it is not always negative. You can actually post something with the intent of sharing your testimony with someone. You can share something with the intent to help someone get a breakthrough, or you can share something because you are looking for someone. Many people have been reunited and connected with each other, or they've been able to reconnect with somebody that they lost contact with and they couldn't find a phone number for them through their Facebook or Instagram page. And so I'm not hearing this video message saying that everything that you post on social media is bad or is negative or you need to be careful. The angle that I'm coming from in this video message today is basically to tell you all that you have to stop being a open book. You have to stop, as they say, oversharing. Some people, they overshare in real life. You may be guilty of oversharing in your real life on a day-to-day -day basis. You're talking to people, whether it's at work, whether it's in your neighborhood, and you are telling them more things about yourself than you are supposed to. And then there are some of you on social media, you overshare, and every single move you make, you are telling your audience. Now, let me just break something down for a minute. There are reasons, and this is why I say make sure your motive is pure for why you post because the majority of people that are posting something they are doing it for a particular reaction from people and they want to target particular people there are some of you all who are definitely guilty of posting pictures of your new wife or of your new husband with the intent to target your ex-wife, your ex-husband, your ex-husband, I mean your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend. If they broke your heart and told you nobody would want you but them, if they told you you were not attractive, if they told you you would never get anyone as good as them, you want to post your husband or your wife in the hopes that they will see it. Now, if you're not following them, you may have mutual friends or family members that are friends with the ex and sometimes you put it out there because you know they have a big mouth and they'll go back and show or tell your ex-wife, your ex-husband, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend. And so what I'm saying is that in that um, sense, you got to be careful with that because it's not coming from a pure place. And when something is not coming from a pure place and you have a particular motive and agenda, a lot of times it does not last. So there's that. The next thing I wanna tell you guys is that you have to stop being so comfortable taking excessive amounts of pictures of your children and also sharing that on social media. I understand you love your children. I understand that you are proud of your kids or your kid when they graduate when they get straight A's on their report card or when they are successful in a particular area and you want those close to you who are connected to you on your Instagram uh, page on your Facebook page on your YouTube channel you want them to know what you have going on with your family and I'm not saying anything is wrong with that but there are some of you you take it too far you literally have video footage of the actual school that your child goes to the world wide web can see the full name or your kid's school you you are putting up your child's first middle and last name on your facebook account 
and you are showing people the parks that you go to you are showing people the restaurants that you go to you are telling people what your schedule uh, is with your children and all I'm saying is that that can become very dangerous then there are some of you all you are very vocal or overly vocal about your husband or your wife and let me break that down some of you all with your spouse you share every single thing that they do for you when your husband ladies take you out for your birthday when he buys you all these extravagant gifts for Christmas, when he takes you out and buys you all these things for Valentine's Day, you are posting every single thing your husband bought you. You are posting what he's cooking for you. You are posting things he says to you in private. You're telling everybody, Bay said this, Daddy said this, my boo said this, my man said this. And some of you women, I, I, I have said and love my sisters, some of you all have the intent to evoke jealousy out of other women. Because if you knew before you came into that man's life that he slept with a lot of women or he had a lot of women and he still friends with some of those women on his Instagram page or on his Facebook account, you want to let all these women know because you may have a little bit of jealousy yourself or a little bit of insecurity within you. And so you want to send a message that you're the main woman now and that he loves you and he put the ring on your finger or that he's um whining and dining you and he's... um you know just he's covering you with all these jewels and the pandora bracelet and the diamond earrings and you showing the pictures of the purse or the purses he bought you and you showing everybody the high heels he bought you and the dresses he bought you and you all are taking pictures in your car you're doing this because you think that you're sending a message to other women but sometimes it backfires and when you do that all you're doing is making a lot of women on the world wide web want your man more and they will set it up to intentionally get close to you or make up an excuse to be around you and your husband. Sometimes they'll even do it in the body of Christ. And they will set it up to where they can have contact and uh, get closer to you so they can get your man. I have seen couples post, overly share things about their marriage, and they talk about even arguments that they have, and be like, but we made up, and, and this is how we run our household, and then one or two years later, they're divorced. Now, I know some of you all may feel like, well, if they got a divorce, that doesn't have anything to do with what they post, they posting on Facebook, but I'm going to tell you guys something. Demons are on Facebook. Witches are on Facebook. People that are not genuinely and sincerely happy for you are on Facebook. And behind the scenes, people have very strong opinions about you. Okay? I'm not saying you're supposed to give power to that and care about what people think or say because we don't have control over what people think or say about us. But all I'm saying is that some of you all... You put so much out there, the enemy is able to attack the area that you're constantly talking about. I have seen certain stuff go on with me because I posted something. Not necessarily my business, but I pre presumptuously shared something. Or I told something. And that particular thing came up in my memory and I'm like, oh my God. I spoke this into existence and said this and it came to pass and it was not good. You guys got to pay attention to that. And spirits are watching you. Demons are watching you. And when they can't attack a certain area that they know you're covered in or they know you're strong in, any little door that's left open, they will come into that. And so all I'm telling you all is that you've got to be careful with overly sharing and always coming with the intent to prove something to other people you have to be more private because in this season because god is doing so much some of you all he's bringing you out of depression he's bringing you out of bondage he's bringing you out of captivity he's bringing you all out of lack and homelessness and financial struggles he is turning situations around and the fact that this season is new and your life is about to be new and you are still in the midst of your transformation uh, and transitional period, you have got to be silent about a lot that is going on with you. 
People behind the scenes will look at your marriage or look at your relationship and people will be speaking. You may not even know it, but behind the scenes when they see that video or they see that photo or you and your husband, they could be behind the scenes saying to they self or other people, they not going to make it. I know her. They not going to make it. I know him. I used to mess with him. I know the type of man he is. He not going to stay with her. These people are speaking word curses over your marriage and you don't even know. Because you're constantly posting things about your marriage. Nothing is sacred. Nothing is off limits. I want to tell you guys something. Sometimes you have to celebrate privately and silently. Some of you all don't know what I mean when I say celebrate silently. Sometimes when you get a win and sometimes when something amazing happens in your life instead of you posting it on instagram or facebook or youtube and instead of you getting on your phone calling to tell everybody and brag or you texting everybody or you quick to upload a photo sometimes you got to just sit there in silence and you just got to close your eyes and be like lord i thank you i know that everything i got is because of you you got to just say that inside in utter silence by yourself in the comfort of your home or your car, wherever you are. I have had many silent celebrations where I have not told anybody anything. I hit a milestone. I did this. I won this. I conquered this. I became victorious in this particular area. And silently, I celebrated. I kept it to myself. Everything is not video worthy. Everything is not meant for the world wide web to know and i know that a lot of you all you have pure good intentions but i know the majority of people that are posting they are posting because they know that they have a large audience and a lot of people are watching them they know a lot of people are watching them and sometimes people feel better about themselves they feel more strong they feel more confident they feel more secure strictly off the comments the hearts and the likes of people on their social media account that's what this video message is about you can't always be an open book you have to be more of a mystery you have to start becoming more mysterious which one of you are willing to do that? Which one of you can honestly say in this season of your life, you are ready to be more mysterious? You got to close off telling everybody everything that you got going on. How many of you all are ready to go to that level? Some of you all have been on Facebook for 8, 9, 10, and 15 years. You've been on Instagram for over 4 or 5 years. And every single move you make, you posting it. You all are posting when you're about to go on vacation. But you forgot six months ago or a year ago when you closed on your new house, you put up a picture of the inside of your house and the outside of your house. But you got some mutual friends that actually know where you live at. And they was having a conversation telling someone, oh, I know where so-and-so live. I know where she live. I know where he live. But they didn't know, unbeknownst to them, they was innocently just talking, having a general conversation, but they were saying this stuff around somebody that hates you. They were saying this stuff around somebody that's a low-key criminal. And when you came back from your vacation, your house was broken into. One of your cars was stolen. You was out at that particular restaurant and somebody from high school or somebody from the neighborhood or somebody in your family that you really don't mess with like that, they popped up at the restaurant you at. They popped up at the bowling alley you and your family was at. This stuff happens to people for real. So all I'm telling you all, you're going to have to get to a place right now where we are because it's such a perilous time. And I'm going to keep talking about this in video messages, giving you guys little gentle reminders. You have got to be more private. You have got to be more low-key and protect your spouse, protect your children, even protect your goals. Some of you are presumptuously and prematurely. You had a goal and a plan and a blueprint for a restaurant or a beauty salon or a barber shop or a grocery store or a restaurant that you wanted to open. It hasn't even manifested itself yet. But you told your entire Facebook page the, the blueprint and the layout of what you were going to do. And then you noticed that the deal that was on the table for you to get the loan for it, now the bank giving you a hard time. 
you noticing that the people that said they were going to uh, initially be on your team to help you bring this stuff to pass, they acting funny. And you like, why are they acting funny? Because demons saw what you put up there. Haters saw what you put up there. And they started praying against you. They started speaking against you. I understand that on social media, even with how you physically look, some of you all were bullied because of how you looked in the past. You were the fat girl. You were the big boy. You were the girl that was too dark or you were too light. You were the guy that was not the handsome one. And now you have done what they say, glowed up. And so you want to show everybody on Instagram and you want to show everybody on Facebook that you have glowed up. You want the affirmation. You want the pats on the back. And you showing everybody these pictures of yourself. Every time you get sick or something goes wrong with you, you putting this stuff in the airwaves. Instead of you being private about your illness, and instead of you going to God behind the scenes and praying or telling those who really love you for real, you know my sister, pray for me. You know my brother, pray for me. You could shoot somebody an inbox or a, a direct message and tell them, just pray for me. And you are getting prayers from people behind the scenes and you get healed versus you putting a video up publicly, you showing them your wristband from the hospital and now you staying sick. Actually, your sickness and your illness is getting worse. This stuff may sound far-fetched to some of you all because you all excuse a lot of stuff that goes on. But the spirit realm is real. What you speak out of your mouth is real. What you share is real. People have demons in them. People are not happy for you. And every time you post your husband, every time you post your wife, every time you post your children, every time you post your goal, every time you post your plan, every time you post a win that you have in your life, it's always going to be somebody that still secretly does not approve or agree with what you posting or what you got going in your life. They not happy for you. They speaking against your restaurant already and they haven't even manifested. They may have had an experience with you where, they bar where you borrowed money from them and you didn't pay it back. And so now you advertising that you're about to open up a business and they speaking against you. They not saying nothing to you, but behind the scenes, oh, that restaurant ain't going to last. He owed me $5,000. He haven't even gave it to me. So how he finna open up a business? How is she about to open up a beauty salon? She, she, she when, when I used to work with her, she wouldn't even get to work on time. So how is she going to open up a beauty salon and, and have customers with appointments? She not going to even make it. This is, this is what people do. Whoever you were in the past and the ugly parts of yourself that people knew who came up with you or they knew you from the old neighborhood or people in your family that saw you at a low point, when you begin to grow and evolve from that, they'll start speaking against you. Be more private. Be more mysterious. Stop oversharing. What people don't know, they can't attack. Have, have more private and silent celebrations. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord will and I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have been offended by this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I am not concerned. I am not worried about it because I know you will forgive me in the morning.